I owe my life to black people and to black culture, from my career, to the music I make, to my very being, who I am as a person. I was the only white person in my friendship group growing up. My father was raised in Congo and Ethiopia to the age of 16. <laughs> <laughs> Don't piss me off. It's basically released another statement. She's added me should be um and she's left a love heart. So hopefully this is this is this is a better apology than that whack video that she uploaded. Supposedly apologizing. And this was not a video, is it? No, this is a statement. It's been hard to find the words to know whether to speak at all. But I don't want to leave things on the note of my last post. I can see clearly that a black female was and is still hurt by my actions on the X Factor that became overshadowed in my mind last week. Okay, I don't know what the that means. The feelings. It became she overshadowed is. in her mind. She's basically saying that the fact she that Misha B. Yeah, she's saying that it, her feelings, she didn't think about her feelings. That's what she's saying. Last week, she wasn't thinking about her feelings. Okay, in her mind. Okay. Then it says, when I first posted a video, it was more of a reaction to online violent death threats to me and my family. Oh. And people telling me to kill myself. Do you know what this is? This, you this, already! This, 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 one paragraph. <laughs> this is Connor saying, so yeah. This is literally... It only took one paragraph. Let's, to, let, to get, let's try and let's turn let, this Let's let her else. microaggressions warm up first, oh, okay? Let her microaggressions warm up. She's, right, only, right, she's, right, only, right. she's only giving us a little taster. Right, that's not cool. Oh, and then she said, hey. she said, it was a, it was on a massive scale and I jumped to def defense mode. I sent Misha a separate message when I first posted the vid to apologize because my post was less about her and more an emotional reaction. You left it out for a week though. I fully acknowledge the pain I caused and fully accept people should be angry about it. I can state again, there was nothing racial in my thought process. When I refer to Misha as being feisty, and competitive. Oh. Did she say feisty? She, she said, said feisty, 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 competitive, and she said she's bully. she's mean. Okay, she said she's a bully as well. No, oh, no Louis, Louis said she's a bully, okay. but she said she's mean. Okay, and competitive. That was a reflection of myself because I saw myself in Misha. Eh? It's the Congolese side coming out. <laughs> we. <laughs> you saw the Congo in it. You saw the Congo in Misha. She says, says we are both very strong women. Africa. And when I. <laughs> oh, Africa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Carry on, sorry, sorry. Continue. And, and when I communicate with people, I always jump to what I have in common to find a basis. What? This is, this, you know what this is African power, innit? This is, this is like, I know how you feel I'm ginger. Power. Like, this is, I know how you feel I'm ginger. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we've got to stop. No, it's true. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, 
they I can were, relate because I'm ginger. I can relate because I'm ginger. And I know you're black, but I'm ginger. Yeah, but it's, so now she's saying the reason, it's actually like trying to find a comment, she's trying to make a commonality between her and Misha because both, both you're both feisty people. and you're mean and you're, and you're rude. Right. You're mean. Because, like, I'm <laughs> and feisty you're mean. and mean as well. Because, so that's how I, I, I understand. So I was projecting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Let's, let's continue, please. For the African woman. This, in this you. is heartfelt. <laughs> the Congolese. However, I totally understand that it made Misha feel a certain way. As a young black girl hearing it from a young white girl on a huge platform, living in the oppressed society we do, full of racial slurs and undertones, not knowing my thought process. This I can only acknowledge, apologise for, hold my hands up and say I'm truly sorry. It was something I did not understand at the time. I made a mistake and I completely take on board how that mistake has been viewed. On the backstage issue, which you shouldn't be talking about right now, but mm. whatever. Okay, I addressed it that day on air because when I feel under threat or someone I care about is under threat, my instant reaction is to fight back. Threat. It's a show. It was a TV yeah. show. See, so I basically saying Misha B went was a threat. backstage guy. <laughs> Ready to kill people yeah, backstage things. I don't understand. So you said you apologize and, so and, and, and now you're undoing it. Oh. So it says, that day someone younger than both of us came crying to me in my dressing room. I can't Upset even bother this. <laughs> over an accusation, judgment about them, Misha had expressed and later admitted to me, which I felt was extremely harsh. And yeah. it was not the first time I had heard this. I ran out there thinking I'm doing the right thing. I have to call her out. I have to protect. I have to be a protector. Hang on. Attacking. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. So she's basically saying that Amisha B has admitted it. That's what she just said. But the thing is, okay, okay, so finish reading, finish her, <laughs> finish reading it, and I'll, I'll tell you what it is that she's referring to. I have to be a protector. Attacking it head on is the only way to make it stop. I let my emotions get in the way of my work, and I didn't stop to think of the consequences for you. Misha at the age of 18, immediate or long term. I was 22. I didn't have any guidance. How is she going to mention her age in this statement? Uh, and, uh, and I'd been given the most powerful platform in the industry at the time. I had a huge responsibility that I clearly wasn't ready for in those circumstances. If I could go back in time, I would have pulled you aside, which I thought you did. You said you did. You said you spoke to her backstage. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if I could go back in time, no, she's saying, I would have confronted her on that TV. Is what she's saying. If I could go back in time, I would pull you aside, spoke about the issues, then probably opened up about my own issues, and we'd have had an open and honest dialogue, and maybe found some common ground in our childhood upbringings. Oh Jesus! In Congo, in the Congo. Who is he? His name's Ndali. He's a friend of mine. That's what I would do now, and that's the person I am today. I don't have many regrets, but I regret what happened with us. Not what you did, but with us in it. All my other mistakes only affected me. <laughs> only affected me. I can live with that, but that mistake affected you. You have every right to be angry and speak your truth and how it made you feel. I do, however, feel that, oh, wow, that you left out what our specific issue was about. And left my intentions a lot more open to interpretation. I was most definitely acting on impulse and was not aware of nor a part of any agendas that could have been at play. I've seen a lot of talk about Gary mentioning manipulation from producers, which people are relating to this situation. I can confirm myself and Gary had separate producers assigned to us, so I can't speak for his experience, only my own. Over the years, I've looked at the situation and thought about reaching out to you many times. I didn't, of course, which was a mistake. I can only tell you once again how sorry I am for the years of hurt and pain you've experienced, and that I was part of that. I don't want to see any anyone hurting, let alone be the cause of it. And I only hope that you can see my heart now and know that that's not who I am today. I only hope moving forward that you get the success and love that you deserve being the incredible talent you are. I hope that you get past the pain and hurt to happier times. Send in prayers, love and light. God bless. T. Yes. Um, Kay, oh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was very long. I literally can't remember everything now, but it was just, um, 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the main part that annoyed me was her saying. She, she, she said a lot of things, but the main thing she said was that Misha, first of all, she said that she acted out of protection. So she was protecting uh, a threat that Misha posed. You're a daddy, Ma'am, I'm a Karen, you are you okay? Can you explain to me calmly? No, because you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking you. Ma'am, you flicked me off. That was one. So I think her use of language is quite interesting. And then the, other, the second thing that she said that I didn't really care for was, she said um, that Misha didn't tell the complete story. That how, because Misha didn't, tell, Misha didn't tell the complete story, she left things open to interpretation. And I think that I think the issue with that is, it, it wasn't. I don't think anybody is thinking that Misha is a saint. Misha said it herself that she's not a saint. Um, I think the issue is is why you deemed it fit to address it on live TV. That is the issue. And I think your your statement, although you know you apologized separately, you also made a lot of excuses. And I think that I think that is a problem. Um, no, she just deflected. She literally she, she just justified why she did what she did. She mm. literally spent half of it apologizing and half of it explaining why she did what she did. And it's like, and in that, constantly repeating the fact that Misha B was a bully and a friend. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, the very thing that you're talking about, black women this, you understand your actions. You understand your actions, but the very thing that you're saying, they are apologizing for, you're doing it again in your statement. Mm. And, and I just, I just, she can't help it. And she, I mean, she's, she, I mean. And, and, and another thing as well is that it, it felt like, you, oh, yeah, you, 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 you needed to, well, that's the one, okay. yeah, it, it felt like you needed to constantly say that you understand, almost like imply that you understand where Misha's coming from because you're just like her. But this, this is the point of this whole thing, isn't it? You're not just like her. And that's the reason why people have a problem with it because it, it was the whole microaggression coming from a white woman. So, and, and that, so for you to constantly say in the statement, I'm just like you. We have similar upbringings and whatever, whatever. Like, it is. It's, it feels like you, you, you haven't you, that you don't get it. To me, and all the white people in Talita's comments accepting her apology. <laughs> you guys need to stop that. What you are you to... accepting? It's nothing to do with you anyway. <laughs> I thought it was that. That's and then she doesn't need to apologize and all that. You don't need to keep out of it. Keep out of it and mind your business. Exactly. If Misha B accepts it, then cool. But at the end of the day. It's got nothing to do with you. And there's a comment here as well that I think is important to read. It says, I appreciate you must apologise as I also do not agree with you doing what you did publicly, but I really do not think it had a shred to do with race. People have interpreted it that way. Hmm. So I think this comment is part of the, is, is a very big part of the issue. And black, I've seen this comment from black and white people. And the reason why it's an issue is that microaggressions are not dressed in, are not cloaked in overt racism. Do you know what I mean? So is it overt or covert? Overt, yeah, overt racism. So, you know, the whole point of a microaggression is, is that most of the time it's only you and that person perpetrating it. You can be in a filled room. It's only you and that person doing it that knows what's going on. You know, and I know, innit? Like, do you know what I mean? But everyone else in the room is oblivious to what's going on. Yeah, but this way and room, wasn't No, it? but I'm just saying that that's the whole point of microaggressions. And I feel like for people to say it had nothing to do with race, the reason why it's important for people to... So that's one thing about microaggressions, but another reason why... Because what the, the reason why I say microaggressions is that she started off in it. Before she cussed Misha, she said to her, you're amazing. Mm. She started off the whole thing in it, by basically mm. telling her how amazing she is and she's got an amazing voice only to drag her down. With a smile on her face, it's, it's, it was it was it was very microaggression that she done it. But another reason why I'm saying that the, the comment is problematic is because um, the reason why people are saying that it's it, 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 it's it's racism is they're saying that if she was a white person, that she wouldn't have been dealt with that way. That she that the certain the language that was used would have been different, and that is what people are saying. They're not saying that. Um, Talisa goes to clan meetings at night. That's not what they're saying. And I just think until we get our head round the different grades and very different variations of racism, the conversation is going to be really difficult. Do you know what I mean? So that's that's 
that's that's how I feel about it. You know what I mean? I, it, it, it actually feels like you don't get it. So yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> you know you've apologised now. So again, again, even though your apology was like, <coughs> another, another trash apology, but hey, <clears throat> okay, you know. I mean, it's better that she didn't record herself this time. <clears throat> She probably would have had an angry face in it while she was saying this. <laughs> well, you know, too much. Oh. may the Congo be with you. So, or kind of forever. <laughs> Hopefully, Misha B accepts your apology anyway. Let's see. I think she has I think, it. I think she's she accept, I think she's already accepted it. But I think the point is, is that she wants to call, she wants to highlight what goes on in the industry and what white people do that people ignore. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway. Yeah. Alright guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe. And hit the notification button because if you miss it, you, you miss, miss it. it. Trouble, yeah. I'm on a way, it's a close up. This love I know to be there, no matter them, I'm mine.